Well, good morning, pharmacy aficionados, and welcome back again to www.salesystem.com.au. My name's Glenn Guilfoyle, and I head up the specialist pharmacy services group called The Next Level. And we come to you each month in this form, uh, both written and uh, in video form, um, with some particular uh, specific topic around the development of your total hosting and complete solution service model for your health customers. And we do so because uh, for, or, or at least over the last five to six years, as we've been observers of the retail pharmacy industry Australia, we've noticed the struggle and the progressive um, diminution of service and community-based pharmacists to maintain their point of differentiation. And of course, this is all against the backdrop of PBS reform and discounting in the marketplace. And um, so we think that this struggle to, to uphold the point of differentiation for such pharmacies is a real shame indeed. In fact, the great irony is as products and prices descend downwards in a spiral towards commoditization, it should in fact be standing out more and more that the advice and counsel from the trusted advisor pharmacist becomes the point of differentiation for the pharmacy in question. So we believe that in fact, the words of wisdom that the, that the health customer takes out of the pharmacy should be perceived as more valuable than the products that they are walking out with. And so it is that we come to you each month with something to help you think about um, your position on that journey. And so this month, I'd like to talk about the gap that we've detected between what we would call awareness and awakening and the attitude and aptitude to undertake a journey towards your tailored version of a total hosting and complete solution service model uh, in the health part of your pharmacy. So there are eight fundamentals uh, that I am going to allude to in terms of negotiating this gap. And if I think back to the coffee conversations with various pharmacists, owners and stakeholders, I enjoyed, say, some four or five years ago around the imperative of refocusing the pharmacist from the processing uh, role uh, to uh, the more forward-oriented uh, customer engagement uh, role. The, um, the questions in those discussions used to be anchored by um, sort of why and whether type questions. Uh, these days, these sorts of conversations I'm having are uh, anchored more by uh, the when and how type questions. So this is a good thing. Uh, this is an indicator that by whatever means, the awareness and awakening in terms of the need to change has kicked in and has become more widespread. That said, like any significant change journey, implementation and execution is hard and always seems to take longer than anticipated. Sometimes the vision uh, of what's required in terms of the right attitude and aptitude incumbent on the owners, managers, and stakeholders of the pharmacy in question is not even clear at the get-go. It can indeed be a long and arduous journey. For example, the award-winning PSA Health Destination Pharmacy Program is based on a three-year change management journey. Whatever milestone you're at in terms of your own version of this journey, it's very helpful to always keep in mind um, that there is this gap between a, the awareness and awakening that's required to galvanize you and the team into a, an urgent a sense of urgency and bias for action to embark on such a journey and the attitude and aptitude required to steer you in the right direction, paint the picture of Nirvana, um, and to actually bring it to life, day in, day out. Workflow and customer engagement effectiveness uh, at the dispensary studies conducted by the next level over the last uh, four or five years, in fact, some 250 such studies, um, enables correlations between uh, behaviours 
and performance patterns in this regard. This work is still very much ongoing and a work in progress, uh, but it, uh, it, it's starting to emerge this notion of the things that you need to get right to negotiate uh, the gap between this awareness and awakening and attitude and attitude that I speak of. Saliently, the typical sequencing of these so-called eight fundamentals shows us that there are kind of like two progress, pa parallel progressions at play. Um, the change required tends to move progressively, starting from a kind of the physical and structural environments around the professional services area and the dispensary of the pharmacy. And then this change tends to move more into changing the hearts and minds, both of the staff and of the customers. And therefore, as a result of that, um, uh, those fundamental or, or overarching types of changes, the actual change um, for the staff required progressively becomes harder and harder. So I do encourage you to uh, click through on the link uh, embedded in this clip to read a bit more about the eight fundamentals. Uh, it's a very short read, won't take you long, and I do trust that you will gain uh, some sort of insight and some provocation in terms of what you might do uh, to leverage that and uh, assist your own development of your total hosting and complete solution service model. Of course, we're only a phone call away and we'd love to chat about it further uh, with you. And uh, in any case, we we'll look forward to coming back uh, next month with the next piece in, um, in our pursuit of making these contributions to helping you develop uh, the service model that you that you're aspiring to. Bye for now.